You can never have enough dresses. They are comfortable, indispensable and the ultimate fashion statement. In today's video, we will be learning how to stitch a vase dress, perfect for dinners and formal outings. This dress will definitely elevate your style. In this video, we are going to cut the fabric basis the template. Join the front and back pieces by sewing the shoulders. Working on neck facing, stitch side seams and hem the sleeves as well as the bottom of the dress. Let's get started. You will need 2 meters of fabric with a width of 45 inches, quarter meter cotton fabric for the neck facing. The templates for the vase dress which you can download from our website www.ushaso.com. Chalk, pair of scissors, measuring tape, scale, beaded pins, matching thread, hand needle. Step 1. Template marking and cutting. Open the fabric and lay it on the table right side facing up. Then fold it inwards from bottom sides like shown in the video. Place the front template of the vase dress downloaded from www.ushaso.com on the fabric. Ensure that you place the side which mentions on fold correctly. Pin the template to the fabric with some beaded pins to secure it in place. Then place the back template of the fabric on the other side of the dress. Mind the on fold section for the back template as well. Use the beaded pins to pin the template to the fabric. Next, take a piece of chalk and trace both the templates of the fabric. Start with the front template and trace it in entirely. While marking, you might have noticed a notch on the template. Mark the notch on the fabric as well as this will be our sleeve opening. Move to the back template and proceed tracing it as well. Carefully trace along the curves and the edges. Don't forget to mark the sleeve opening notch in the back template as well. Unpin the templates and keep them aside. Take a pair of scissors and cut along the traced lines. Ensure that you are precise with your cutting as this can make or break your pattern. Cut the fabric out entirely and keep the spare material aside. Just to recap, this is our front side and this is our back side. Step 2. Joining the front and back pieces together. Now open the fabric and place the front piece over the back piece. Right side facing right like shown in the video. This will be our neckline and shoulders. Take some beaded pins again and proceed to pin the shoulder. Make sure the pin goes across both the layers of the fabric. Now replace the front template over the front piece of the fabric and mark the notch on it. Keep the template aside. Now. Take your pinned fabric to your Usha Janomi Dream Maker 120 sewing machine. Before we start sewing, ensure the machine is set to straight stitch and increase the stitch length to 2.6. Align the edge of the shoulder with the presser foot and begin sewing. We'll be doing reverse stitches at the start and at the end of the fabric to secure the stitches. Continue sewing till you reach the neck and remove the pins as you go. Do a set of reverse stitches and cut the thread. Similarly, sew the other shoulder. 
Don't forget the reverse stitches at the start and at the end. Carefully remove the pins as you sew the shoulder. Cut the thread and done. Now to avoid any fraying edges of the material, simply press the zigzag button on your machine and let's get sewing. Reverse stitches are not required during zigzag stitches. Do zigzag stitches across both the shoulders. After you are done, use a pair of scissors to cut the extra threads for a neater finish. The final shoulder stitches will look like this. Step 3. Preparing the neck facing and attaching it to the neckline. Now take a white cotton fabric. Fold one fourth of the fabric like shown in the video. Then take the front template and place it on the fabric. One thing to keep in mind while placing the template is to ensure the unfold section is placed correctly on fold. Now, take a piece of chalk and trace the neckline and a small portion of the shoulder. From the marked line, measure one and a half inches and mark the point. Do the same at one more point on the line. Now, Take a scale and join these points with a straight line. Make sure your line reaches till the shoulder marking and you have a rectangular shape. Cut this out from the fabric. This will be fitted facing strip for the front neck. Keep it aside. Next, with the spare fabric, fold the other side like shown in the video. Place the back template over it. Ensure the section that says on fold comes on fold. Then trace the neckline and a small portion of the shoulder exactly how we did for the front template. After tracing, take a measuring tape and measure one and a half inches and create a mark. Do this across the neckline for the ease of creating a freehand curve. Join the created points. After you are done, cut out the facing Cut carefully around the curves. Your front and back facing should look like this. Open the facings. We now have to join the shoulder. Place the back facing over the V-shaped neck facing. Ensure it is right side facing right and pin it like shown in the video. Take the pinned facings to your machine. Before sewing, ensure the machine is on straight stitch and the stitch length is 2.6. Align the edge of the strip with the presser foot and sew the pin section. Remember, reverse stitches are important for something as small as facing strips too. Stitch both the pin sides. Once you are done, your stitches should look like this. To recap, we have stitched the shoulders on the main fabric. Next on the list is working on the neckline. Bring out the neck facing for the neck finishing. 
We have stitched the shoulders here. Now, open the main fabric and match the neckline of the fabric with the facing. Make sure it's placed right side facing the right. Align the V shape of the strip with the neckline and secure it in place with some beaded pins. Continue to pin the entire strip in place. We have to now sew along the pin sections. Align the neckline with the presser foot and begin sewing. Go all the way across the neckline and take the pins off as you go. When you reach the corner, use the pivoting technique by keeping the needle in the fabric and turning the fabric. This will ensure one neat and single stitch. After you are done, cut the thread. The stitches should look like this. Now as you can see, we have stitched the neckline. Give a notch to the V-shape, ensure you don't cut the stitches. We have to create notches on the circular part of the strip as well. This will ensure that the fabric sits properly when worn. Make sure to create notches across and above the stitch line. Step 4. Hemming the sleeves Now we will work on the sleeves. Open the fabric entirely. Find the mark we had created at the sides. Now fold from the shoulders, then pinch the material and give a notch at this marking. Do the same for the other side. Pinch and create a notch on the marking. We have to now hem the sleeves. For that we will fold in a quarter inch of the fabric twice from the notch on the front side to the notch on the back side. Align the edge with the presser foot and begin sewing. Keep folding as you go. Go across the shoulder and reach the notch on the other end and pause. Cut the thread. Ensure that your folds are neat and consistent. The same process will be repeated on the other side. After you are done, cut the thread. The final stitches should look like this. Step 5. Finishing the side seam and hemming the bottom of the dress. Join the sides right side facing the right and secure them in place with beaded pins for the ease of stitching. We will be sewing the pin section as indicated in the video. We will also hem the bottom of the dress. Align the pin section with the edge of the presser foot and proceed sewing. Do a couple of reverse stitches and then continue as per normal. Remove the pins as you go. When you reach the end, cut the thread. The stitches should look like this.
Next, move to the other side and repeat the process. Slowly and steadily make your way down. After you are done, press the zigzag stitch button on your Usha Janomi Dream Maker 120 and proceed to do zigzag stitches on the side seams. It's a repetitive process, but trust us, this will give our fabric a much neater look. Do zigzag stitches on both sides. Time to hem the bottom of the dress. Move to the bottom of the dress and like the sleeves, fold in a quarter inch of the fabric and then 3 fourth inches. Ensure the stitch length is 2.6 and begin sewing on the fold. Go all the way across. Keep folding as you go. Make sure your folds are neat. After you are done, cut the thread and turn the fabric inside out. Step 6. Finishing the neckline We will complete our neck now. Fold the facing strip on the other side and hand stitch it. For finishing while sewing the facing strip, Fold the bottom by 1 4th inch like shown in the video. Do the entire neckline. Do the entire neckline. Your handiwork should look like this. To recap, we stitch the side seams, hem the sleeves, join the shoulders and finish the neckline. You can further embellish your dress with accessories of your choosing. As you can see, we've added purple feathers to ours and we absolutely love them. Let us know how you like the video and what else you would like to learn in the comments. Don't forget to like, share this with your friends who would like to create a vase dress.